Welcome back to another series of Follow the Build. Um, for the previous episodes, we've been focusing on our prime range. Um, this week, we're going to talk about our A series range. We've got one of our new 6A3s here. Um, so, yeah, Ross, do you want to take us through? Yeah, sure. So, um, the A683, for those of you who don't know, this is one of our latest leisure boats. We launched it at the last Southampton Boat Show in September 2019. And it was a brand new design um, from the hull right up to the deck. Mm. Um, and really what we've tried to do is just create the ultimate sort of leisure boat for the sort of British leisure user in this size point. So it's a 6.8, give or take a bit. And uh, we also launched a larger version called the 811. And um, as we say, you know, the key, well, what you're going to do with this boat if you're, if you're leisure boating in the UK, sunbathing, we've really got some cool designs and features, which we'll show you when we board the boat in a while. Um, of course, the sort of cruising, which ribeyes are known for. So it's, it's a new deep bee hull, very high bow, very soft and dry for that coastal cruising. You know, we all do. Um, but most importantly, you know, more and more people, and certainly ourselves as well, water sports. Yeah. You know, so sort of boarding from, from the water, safe boarding, easy boarding, that's good boarding. And um, yeah, I think that's the key thing, isn't it, about the, what you mentioned about the cruising there is that. There's no, there's kind of almost no debate. Our hulls are absolutely the best yeah. boats in the industry for doing that. Um, but that's that's only a small part of what they do. And I, I often think it's actually a part of the boat that's downplayed in importance, yeah. really. Yeah. So yeah. as you say, isn't it? It's about what, how you use these boats and, and what it does. And you know, having great leisure time with your family is obviously the key thing. Absolutely. But equally, being out there, being safe, you know, keeping dry. You know, being able to get out there on adventure um, yeah. is really what this boat's about. Definitely. So this 682 has been specified with the um, <clears throat> the Yamaha 225, which is an, avail uh, an engine option available for the 2021 season because we've slightly revised the laminate spec for the uh, larger engine. This, this power uh, unit is perfect for sort of mono skin. Like you can have family and friends on board and the torque you get with this V6 motor mm. is perfect for getting someone quickly up out of the water. Which I think is really good for learners, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think easy. it's one of those things, it's like once you get it dialed in and you're good at it, you can do, use less power. But really when you're learning and you really want that help to get up. Yeah. And I think that's, that's a key point with that engine. It makes obviously the boat incredible and all that stuff. But when you're just out with your family, it's yeah. about... You can have everyone on board and yeah. still do water sports, which is something that you know you can't really do, can you? The lower lower power outputs. Absolutely, and just just next to the engine here, you know, I think these these boarding steps, which come as standard with the six eight three and the eight eleven, they're they're very sort of enhanced. And if you if you look how long they are, you know, we have specifically looked at um, not handle ergonomics, as you can see here, and a key thing as well, which makes this quite different, is quite often. From looking at the market, you see ladders stored on top of steps, which actually makes a step redundant. So our, our design and engineering team have come up with a really cool system in where if you actually release this system, you've got four quite large steps here. And as I just, I'll quickly just nip up the ladder now, you know, as you come out of the water, your body gets heavier because you're not floating effectively. So you've got, you've got the first handle nice and easy to you. And as you forward here, you're actually then going to want to just reach a bit further inside the boat. So as you reach in, we've just put, we've designed these flats here to take the second stainless steel handles, just so you can really sort of easily get onto the step. And a lot of our clients, you know, you don't, you, what you don't want to be doing when you come out of the water is putting your knee on a surface because it hurts. So you can just see naturally here, I can just board this surface, stand up, you grab onto the mono mast at the back here, use that to secure yourself, and you've just got loads of space. Now, another cool thing you can use these big steps for, because... If you're bolting on a step, it's going to be a small step, but this is all part of the deck moulding. So all this space here is completely solid and structural. If you're at anchor, you could even like read a book here, sunbathe, that's as well as the extra sunbathe I'll show you in a moment. And uh, on the other side, if you just come around the other side here, so just move this. You might, if you have a look on our website, there's actually um, a couple of pictures of James when we were wakeboarding in France for the first photo shoot of this boat. You can actually fit a wakeboard on here and sort of pop off the back because mm. it's such a long sort of flat area. And that's when you'll see there's no boarding handle here because you, you board on the other side. So it doesn't kind of push the board off. But this, this handle here is great for sort of pushing your feet down into the, uh, the boots in your, yeah. in your wakeboard. Mm. Like, like if you snowboard, you kind of want to be able to step down into it and use your body weight. That handle works really well. So, it's a really fought out area. And again, safety, which is so important. You know, boarding is, is, is so crucial in our design. Yes. And you, you'll see on, on the haunches of the top, if you come around to the side here, there's more of this premium flexi-teak, 
on here, it's all these sort of great flats. So if you need a cleat, it's there. If not, you push it down. But just boarding, say I've just got, got out after having a swim. I'm gonna hang onto this mono ski pole, one foot on there, and then you have more flip pieces of upholstery like we do in our prime series. So I can really sort of seamlessly just board the boat and I'm never standing on a wet, shiny surface. Everything's non-slip. And the cool thing is, you know, when this boat's all finished, you'd, ha you'd hide that step again with some flip flipped upholstery so it doesn't sort of um, impede on the kind of aesthetics of the back end. That sort of detail continues through the boat, doesn't Absolutely. it? Really and that great. comes from, you know, when, when you're choosing a ribeye, you know, we actively often boat in the UK. We really enjoy water sports. We really enjoy spending time with our families chilling out on the boat and the amount of time we've put into what actually works you know and how you move around the boat and things to hold on to yeah. and stuff like that you know and the boat being super capable i think as you just showed that walk through there yeah. it, it casted my mind back to you know when we were designing where those steps should be and, yeah. and stuff like that and i think that's the same as we we take it into these handles, isn't it, really? You know, quite often when you're when you're going along in a boat, the, the handle placement isn't necessarily ergonomic, really. Yeah. And that's where we cut those kind of recesses in. So you're kind of going along and your arm's just rested in there. Like a car door yeah, handle, isn't it? Yeah, the time we spent on that and, you know, some cool little features in front of it there, like fully drainable cup holders and also... You know, a smartphone holder there with your ch with your charging points below. And these are from you know, like scan strut and X yeah. like real premium, high quality kit, and that's found throughout. Be it a hinge, you know, deck bung, something like that. Yeah, and come, it's being best. out on the boat, and like you know, when you're out there, you're taking loads of photos. You know, you're you're doing stuff on your phone, and you know these phones running out of batteries and that's why we did that wasn't it so Absolutely. yeah i think the whole thing has been thought out and i think that's you know while we stay in this area yeah i think this is the key thing about this area is obviously the things we spoke about but is why is this the best area to have as a sunbathe a sunbed in this size boat yeah i mean the, you know on so many on so many ribs if you look at the market you know lots of sort of kind of fold out sort of sunbeds in the bow you, you see on so many boats. Now, what we thought about is that's actually the highest and the most narrow part of the boat. And also it's very unstable in the bow if you actually have like a, a good offshore hull. Um, this is the widest part of the boat and it's the most stable because you've got the engine weight and well, some kit in the lockers as well. And we'll, we'll show you this boat as it follows through the build, but the, the, the unique thing of the aft sunbathing area, which you get with these new ribeyes, is this whole piece of upholstery that will be covering this area here. It's fully structural. When you remove it, it's nice and light. And then you'll see on the deck molding here, we've, we, we've left these shoulders in here. And this gives you the support you need when you place down that backrest here. This all then becomes a nice padded sunbathing area. Mm. It's a wide sunbathing area. You've got more storage in the back there behind those hatches. And it's just, I, th I think the key thing is when you're done using it, you don't have to then, you don't have this board or, or a cushion. It has a function when you put it back because it's your backrest. Yeah. Because of the height of it, you know, it gives you real economics when you're underway. So this is a unique feature to the market, a unique feature to the ribeye. And it's something we're very proud of. And a lot of the features James mentioned, as he was saying, when we were designing this, I think what makes the ribeye different and why this boat is certainly at the forefront of the market, a lot of these features have come from feedback from our existing client base. And because, you know, we're not a reseller, we're designing these boats here in Dartmouth by delivering the boats to the market, supporting the boats that are in the market. Mm. We really are getting that feedback and we're just rolling it out in our new boats. And that's why I think this is a proper game changer yeah, boat. And it's about not cutting corners. Isn't it? And that's why we always say, you know, it's a massive investment. It's, it's an incredible amount of fun. It's a massive investment when you when you purchase a boat of any type, really. And that's why, you know, the, the best idea is just to come and try it out. Because, yeah. you know, you can look at a picture online, can't you? And you can see this boat, it's got a little sunbed in the bow. But it's only when you see it in real life, you realise, like, you yeah. know, you couldn't even lie on that. So, Absolutely. you know, it's great in a photo. And that's what that was really about, wasn't it? Absolutely. You know, having really cool amount of sunbathing area to relax on with your family and stuff. And, Absolutely. you know, being really kind of feeling in the boat. And, yeah, amazing. We've gone through the back of the boat. Um, there's loads more cool features regarding boarding and everything like that. We've got a console we're about to go in here and we've got some, some of the really cool stuff, you know, like the propellers to unbox and, and that sort of thing. So I think what we do is the next episode, we look to cover, you know, the console, how it works, 
how it boards and really show you more of the features and the sort of storage available on this boat yeah. and just how like voluminous and spacious this boat is um, and then follow it right through to when we get out on the water. Definitely. And I, th I think just like as we did at the beginning of the boat, we'll just kind of keep just sort of tuning in on certain elements of the boat just to show you the real quality that you get with these new day series because in, in the previous episodes we've looked at prime which is true gold standard and you know there's lots of sort of things that we've kind of rolled out in the a series which really has that sort of prime gold standard mm. approval as well you know there's a uh, we've got a lot of nine for ones here as well just have a glimpse of them we'll be back next week showing you how those builds are getting on we've got a yacht tender here with diesel oxy -E outboard as well so loads of really cool boats but we look forward to showing you more a series details in due course and um We'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon.